Manufacturing part four. We're going to talk about joining and assembling. And it starts off by asking us a question of can we think of a product with only one part? We might be able to, but most things have more than one part, and most things have lots and lots and lots of parts. So we have to think about the way that different parts get put together because when we're designing something, we need to know. <clears throat> what our options are for for joining things together and what all the the pros and cons of each method is so that we can specify the right kind of methods for the right product that we're creating. The first kind of process is a mechanical fastening. Mechanical, rem remember, means moving parts. So we're talking about physical force holding things together, such as screws, bolts, and then this whole other list. So here's the list, and then I gave you this handout that shows a number of other options, like rivets that are just pushed together so that the two pieces form together. These are permanent mechanical fastenings. Unlike a screw or a bolt down here that I can put it together, take it apart, put it together, take it apart, rivets, flangings, these kinds up here can't be taken apart and reattached because they're permanent. Here, for instance, I like this one. This is a seaming where they actually take two flat pieces of metal and bend them around each other so that they're attached together. Crimping so these two get squished together and this one locks inside that other one, and so on. These ones down here are more familiar to you, such as the bolts, screws, etc. Our next one is welding, and welding is an operation where we have heat and heat and pressure or one or the other and we're permanently joining two parts together. Once we weld two things together it can't be taken apart and there are different kinds of welding, gas, arc, and etc. The next one you're very familiar with it's bonding two things together with some sort of adhesive. So this could be glue, cement, and then we have our kinds of plastics we talked about before, thermoplastics, thermosetting, and elastomers actually using to glue two items together. And finally we have soldering and brazing. This is an operation where we have a soldering iron. This heats up a material and we have where we want these two pieces to be put together. So this heats it up and then two options can happen. We can drop a single pre-cut length of soldering iron, soldering wire right there where we want it and then they're combined. Or we can take a long wire that's still attached over here and just melt off just the right amount that we need and then we have them welded together. So here we're heating it up and adding an extra little piece of metal there to hold it together. And this goes through the same stuff I was saying. We heat up the alloy, it's between the two surfaces, when we remove the heat it solidifies, turns back into a solid metal and they're bonded together. Rapid prototyping. This is clearly becoming one of the quickest growing areas and it goes into the list of the different kinds we have here stereolithography, selected laser, and so on. Basically we're talking about 3D printing. For instance these pieces here where we first create the item in a 3D CAD software program we then take our created item, download it to our software attached to our 3D printer, and then we can print out the material. There are different kinds of 3D printers that are used in different applications. We'd want to use these, and these 3D printed items are really good for a couple of reasons. One, they're much cheaper than using one of the shops that we talked about early on. And these finished products sometimes can go right in to be field tested depending on what material we used. And the parts that we create here we can then use to create the molds for some of our casting techniques. Also we can test it out, fasten items together and then determine if this is going to work and immediately go back and make different choices in our 3D CAD program without actually having to spend a lot of time or money on it. Some other proce manufacturing processes that we're not going to go into detail but just be aware of it is once we've made something we need to test it. It's got to be transported to the next location whether we're ready to sell it or we need further assembly. 
we have to handle all the materials to get them to ma our manufacturing facility, and we have to get everything packaged up. So there are several other steps involved as well.